All right, today I'm going to do as part of my survival guide an addendum uh, that uh, I have uh, reviewed a few survival products that I want to bring to your attention uh, that could be useful. The first product I want to review is basically it's a nine-in-one multi-purpose shovel that also has a an axe, a knife, um, a saw, a hammer, and a number of uh, different uh, other different tools. In fact, I'm going to show you a video that another guy made and I will put the uh, the link to it uh, in the video so if you want to go and review his then what he had to say about it then uh, you can go ahead and do so and here's where the video picks up without the sound what I'll do is I will just do a voiceover as far as that's concerned uh, basically he is showing you the pouch along with the handle that uh, goes the multi-purpose handle that fits a number of different things the first thing he's going to show you is going to be the uh, shovel itself and as you can see, it's probably about uh, 18 to 20, 25 inches long. And uh, it's a, a fairly sturdy handle. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for something that's going to be in more of a survival situation, you, it'd be nice if they made one that was a little sturdier than this. But this is a good one if you want to put this in the back of your car. Now, as you can see, he's put the blade on there, uh, which is the saw. Now he's taking that off. And he's also taking out now the knife that's there. It uh, also has a gutting uh, side to it, and uh, you uh, would probably say that if you sharpen it sharp enough that you could fillet as well with that. But it seems fairly sturdy, but like I said, if you wanted to use it uh, in a survival situation, I would probably say get something to this extent, but a little heavier, uh, so that uh, it will last for a little longer. Now he's putting it all back together. You've got to have that handle back in because it has a snap on. It snaps in there, and now it becomes an axe on one side, which needs to be sharpened. But on the other side, there's also a hammer side that you want you can use for whatever pounding that you might need to do. Uh, so it's it's really like I said, it's a very nice compact uh, survival tool that you can put right on your uh, belt, and uh, only weighs a couple pounds. But as I said, it's probably a little too light for a long-term survival situation. But as for a uh, if you want to put it in your car, whatever the case may be then this would probably be something that we, it would be better suited for but I would not hesitate in using it in a situation that could be long term you might need more than one though because I would suspect after uh, much use that it, it may become vulnerable to breakage now there is a product that's a little bit more uh, up that alley for uh, long term survival it weighs about five and a half pounds it's called the, the Crovel it is a shovel that has many different uses just as the last one that I showed you was and uh, as you see the picture in the side I'm going to show you the video that uh, they also have of their shovel now here are some of the uses that this particular shovel can um, uh, be used for of course digging a hole or whatever the case may be uh, or you can uh, put it at different angles and use it as a type of pick or, a, or whatever the case and uh, uh, used in that in, in that way, but it's extremely heavy, very uh, heavy steel, made in America. Like I said, it weighs about 5.5 pounds, and uh, it's very, like I said, very useful. Has very many different uh, uh, uses, and uh, and a much heavier multi-purpose. As you can see now, he's uh, showing you how it can split wood uh, very easily. So it's got a very sh sharp uh, axe handle on the side of the shovel. Right now he's removing the uh, uh, brush or whatever the case may be. On the other end is a hammer type of pick or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And as you see, he's driving in nails. And uh, just to show you how powerful that the axe is, he is uh, uh, able to be able to throw this thing into a tree and uh, make it stick. So it's very sharp and, and very powerful. Here are some of the other multi-uses for it, of course, bottle opener and uh, a few other things that you might want to use it for. But if you are going to be in a long-term survival situation, I would probably recommend something of this nature over the first item, that I, uh, the 9-in-1 multi-purpose shovel that I showed you, only because the other one simply may not be strong enough for a long-term use. And this is an extremely heavy gauge uh, uh, steel for the uh, crawl. And there are attachments that you can uh, put uh, to this uh, uh, crawl as well that uh, would, would it makes it a little bit more appealing. So there are also add-ins. Again, I will leave a uh, link to the manufacturer's uh, site so you'll know where to get this. But again, as I've always said, don't necessarily uh, 
take only this type of of uh, material with you if something better comes out then that's what you need to look for I mean everything isn't set in stone technology changes all the time so there's always something out there that is gonna be a little bit better as time goes on so if this video if you're looking at this video and it's a year or two old you might want to look at something and that has been upgraded or whatever the case may be but this gives you an idea of the of what's out there at the time now the last product I want to review is for is, is a product that I think is extremely uh, useful and all it is uh, called trioxin and trioxin is a military issued uh, fuel I should say solid fuel type of bar that's probably the size of a small candy bar that I have found to be one of the best and I've tested this out I bought a few of them out and what I did was I went out to uh, a, a fire a campfire type situation and I put down the trioxin bar and literally with just a few sparks I was able to ignite this bar and it's the e like I said it's the easiest way to start a fire I think I've ever seen before outside of just having matches or whatever the case may be but these bars come in a sealed up uh, like I said military issue sealed up uh, type of package uh, that uh, uh, keeps it waterproof one thing I found out about these traction bars it doesn't take very much you don't actually have to use the whole bar which like I said is about two to three inches long you can break this up into smaller pieces and uh, you can use it as a fire starter just a little small piece and probably could start uh, a tremendous amount of fires probably 10 to 20 fires if you just wanted to break it up into smaller pieces because the minute you the minute a spark hits it it ignites very easy uh, type of uh, fire starter now, I will say this once you have uh, uh, if you if you break it down into a powder form, it's not gonna it's not gonna light. It for some reason it has to be in a bar form. But if it's in a solid bar form and you put a striker next to it and strike it and hit the spark hits it, it's gonna light up. You're gonna start a fire. So have your bundle pretty quick, uh, readily available right there, so that the bundle can be caught on fire. Then you can put it right underneath there to start your fire. Now I hope this video has been useful to you, and I expect to be making more in the future. Uh, as time goes on as I come across different types of, of survival tools and uh, I hope to bring them to you and if you have not received a copy or downloaded a copy of my free tribulation period survival guide uh, you may want to do that uh, I will leave a link for that as well as I always do on all my videos so you can go and uh, check it out well this has been Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report